Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. I thought today I would show you my haul of stuff that I got from California. It was my first time in America and so amazing and so exciting. And I'm still dreaming of going back there and just being there right now. Anyway, let's start with the touristy kind of stuff first. We went to three different places. We went to Mariposa and visited Yosemite while we were there, Lake Tahoe and then we went to San Francisco. And when we went to Yosemite, we did lots of hiking and trekking, and I got this awesome Yosemite shirt. And I love the color of it. It's really quite stretchy and it's quite baggy as well. It's really comfy and it just reminds me of my holiday. The other thing I got from Yosemite is this awesome key ring. It's the Half Dome Mountain, which we, we saw that mountain so many times and it's an absolutely beautiful mountain. And so it's a real highlight of being at Yosemite, so it's nice to have that little reminder of that piece of heaven. Honestly, Yosemite was one of the most beautiful places I think I've ever been to, and now I have it on my key ring. It's just nice, like, when I'm going to work or whatever, I see it, and it just reminds me, it's like a little nice blast of happiness and nostalgia. When we were in San Francisco, we went to go see a baseball game, and that was for, well, it was on Father's Day but I kind of saw it as my birthday celebration thing because honestly it was one of the highlights of my trip. We did so many amazing things, but baseball was such a cool experience. I'd never been to a baseball game. I'd never been to an American sports game and the atmosphere, just experiencing the culture, the how they do everything over there, just is so cool and exciting and I loved it. Afterwards, I was just like, I really want to go to another baseball game or just a different sports game and I don't know, hopefully that'll be on the cards in the future. I really want to go back. <laughs> anyway, when we were there, we saw Oakland Athletics play LA Angels, and that was really, really fun. I got this hat, and I just love it. Every time I wear it, it makes me feel very happy. And then when we were in San Francisco, I got this cable car key ring, and it's just really, really cute. Then on my birthday, we went shopping, and I went to Bath & Body Works for the first time and I've been wanting to go to Bath & Body Works for years. I always hear people talk about it and I love candles so it just sounds like heaven and people post pictures and describe their favourite candles from there and I'm just like, that sounds amazing, why can't we have that here? We do have Yankee Candle over here but some of the places have really limited selection, some of them are just really just not nice anyway. Some places you go to like Clinton's they have like one, two, three types and it's always like clean cotton and like jasmine and then some really yucky sweet fragrance and I'm like, no. But these guys, these guys were great. I think these were about $20 each, but they were having 50% off sale, so we got mine for 10. And this is pumpkin pecan waffles. It's so cute, it's got a little turkey on it. And I just love the glass. I think I'm gonna keep that and I'm gonna use it to hold lush stuff or something, I don't know. It smells like a pumpkin spice latte or something. Oh, it just smells so so good. It just it smells like autumn. The next one I got is this mocha latte swirl. I love mochas. I love coffee. So just it's such an amazing coffee scent. But it's not like a coffee bean smell. It's like a coffee creamy smell. And it's a little bit sweet, but not in a. I hate really sweet sweet scents. Like especially in candles, I like quite neutral or woody scents if that makes sense. And then it's kind of slightly chocolatey as well, it's just, oh. I was really hoping to find some different scents that I'd like, but I'm really happy with the ones I've got. And also I did have a weight restriction on my suitcase, so I couldn't go too crazy. But the last one I got was this honeysuckle one. I'm not that keen on floral scents when it comes to candles and like perfumes and stuff. Honeysuckle is one of those scents that I absolutely love. You smell it in the evening, you smell it early in the morning and it's just that really gorgeous like summery fragrance. It's a very comforting fragrance to me because I think we had, like this is a little story time. When I moved back from Malaysia we moved into our house and we had honeysuckle growing up our trellis and the trellis was next to my bedroom window and so every morning I'd wake up or every evening you know open my window and I get this beautiful fragrance, this smell of honeysuckle and I don't know, it's just very comforting and reassuring to me. It was like, no matter what happens or has happened during that day, no matter what lays ahead in that day, there's like, you can appreciate the little things in life, the, the smell of the flowers, life, 
is happening around you and life keeps going and that's a bit deep but smells are incredible in that way they can just keep you going and keep you strong and take you back to places so yeah and this just smells really really nice it's literally the goldilocks of candles for me it's just the bright level of floral not too much not too sweet it's light it's quite uplifting it's just <sighs> So I really can't wait to burn that. When I was in America, I was very, very excited to go to Sephora, Target, places like Walgreens. So I got some makeup. So the first products I got was this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. And it's in the shade Dolce de Leche. And that's what it looks like. I was watching Sarah Hawkinson's video about cruelty-free makeup and stuff. And she really recommended this. So I was like, hell yeah, I'm going to try it. I think it was about two three dollars and it's massive it's huge also got from wet n wild this mega protein mascara and again this was like two dollars and i'm just looking for new mascaras new cruelty free mascaras so i got that one and this one is not in the waterproof formula another product i got from wet n wild is this color icon ombre blush and it's in the shade in a purple haze and it looks like this it's just absolutely it just you know, captured my eyes. They also have a peach one, but because I have more like pink in my skin tone, and I think pink suits me better than peaches, also because my eyes. So I went for this one instead, and I can't wait to try it out. Again, I think that was about $3. I also got this Illuminati concealer pen, and again, this was recommended by Sarah Hawkinson, and I thought I'd give it a whirl. And this one is in the shade Posing Nude. When I went to Target, I saw that they had e.l.f. And they do have e.l.f. in this country, but I don't believe they sell it in stores at the minute. I think you can only get it online. And I've bought some of their stuff online. I don't like buying foundations online because you can never judge through a photo. I kind of took a risk buying this because I couldn't try it on my skin, but it does look very similar to my skin tone. And again, it was about $3. So if it's not that great, then, you know, maybe I can mix it with another foundation try and make it a bit lighter or darker depending on what happens and this is the acne one I can't remember the name of it because I threw away the packaging it's something to do with acne and I haven't got acne but I remember reading that it was good for helping to even out skin tone and reduce redness and I sort of look for that in a foundation because I do have a lot of redness around my nose I do have a bit of redness on my skin and kind of a bit patchy and this one just sounded quite good and it is quite soothing for your skin so I thought great when I went to Target they had NYX and I was very excited we have NYX in the UK we have them in very few boot stores at the minute and they do have stuff online but again it's the whole thing of not being able to try things out in person also it is slightly cheaper in America so I got the doll eye mascara and this one is the waterproof mascara. And I got the NYX Badunk Dunk mascara, which I've wanted to try forever. I really like volumizing mascaras. The next thing I got from NYX is this Angel Veil primer. I'd heard some really good stuff about this, so I'm gonna try it out. I got this NYX HD concealer. I'm gonna give that one a go. This one is CW02. And then I got this eyeshadow base from NYX. And this one is the Eye Base 03. It's kind of like the skin toned one. I got this because ages ago when I used MAC I used to love their paint pots and I've never quite found anything that does as good a job as that and I don't use MAC and I won't use MAC so anyway I've been looking for one to replace it someone recommended this so I'm gonna give it a go and then I got the NYX Simply Red lip crayon pencil thing it says SR03 that helps it's just a really nice red shade and I don't own a lot of reds and I don't own anything with this formula so give it a go. I bought this NYX butter gloss and I've never tried the butter glosses they are so raved about. I don't wear glosses so I thought maybe it's time to change it up and find something a bit different so and the last two things I got when I was in Sephora I got this Tarte mascara which is lights camera splashes. Loads of people recommended this apparently it's one of the best cruelty free waterproof mascaras so We'll see. And then the pièce de résistance. I asked this girl working there. I said, "Do you have hourglass?" And she was like, "Oh yes, we do." So she took me over there, and the rest is history. Look at it. It's so beautiful. 
This is the incandescent strobe light from the Ambient Lighting Collection. I think it was Leisha from X Barkard. She has a lot of the hourglass highlighters and they just look so good. I think she's quite a similar skin tone to me. I think she's slightly darker. Anyway, she goes on about how much she loves these and I just really wanted to try hourglass out anyway. I've heard they're a really good brand. They're cruelty free too. And I was like, Oof, you are coming with me. I really can't wait to have a bath in this. That was my America California haul. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you've got any questions about any of the products or anything that I've mentioned in this video, please leave them down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you want me to do any reviews or try-ons or first impressions of any products, please let me know and I'll be happy to do that. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, stay fabulous, and I will see you next time. Bye guys.